G'day and welcome back to the channel. About a year and a half ago I uploaded a photo that um, I never published and it was my first, well, second BMX I've ever had and I was just going through my old videos and I found it and I'm like, oh, I've never published that but since I've made this video things have changed so I'm going to play you the video that I initially created. I apologise for the audio, it's not real good. But bear with it, and then I'll show you the update. Five, four, three, two, one. Old school only is go. <laughs> I'm going to need two hands, hang on. Mm. I need that knife. My back isn't happy. I just got it up at a decent height on the back of the good old Valiant workbench. It was Christmas 1984. Well, 1984, I'd grown up a little bit and I needed something a little bit more high quality what I was getting up to. So my parents bought me a rally BMX. But not just any rally. This BMX was Rally's flagship top of the line. And in Australia it was called the Ultra Magnum. And the coolest feature of this bike was its aerodynamic frame and forks, oval shaped. In England and in America, it was released as the Team Ultra Burner. In Australia, Ultra Magnum. There she is, my very second <laughs> BMX that I thought I'd never see again. Mine was a different colour. Oh, mine was the only one I ever knew of. This is the second one I've ever seen. I've never seen another one. Um, I've seen photos of other ones, but they're rare. They weren't big in Australia. Everyone was riding mongooses and um, hot foots and diamond backs and that kind of stuff. Um, I was the only kid that had a rally and It was pretty special even back in those days Everyone sort of used to comment on it because it was very different the thing that drew me to that drew me to this particular bike was one There isn't anything around. There's none for sale Two, this is like brand new. So I'll show you some things on the back wheels. It's still got the packaging nuts when it came out of the box from new the rims haven't even worn the paint off yet from the brakes, front and back. The tyres, although a different design than the ones I had, are original rally tyres. It's still got the reflectors and the stand. No one kept the stand. This thing's done nothing. It's got no wear in it. Original pedals, original seat, rally seat, all the pads. There's no wear. The tyres don't have any wear. The pedals, the grips, 
it's all identical to the one I had. But mine was oyster colour. So as much as I love this, it's not what I had and the purpose of getting this bike was to replicate what I had. I'm not going to do it straight away, but I will be respraying it. Um, I've already ordered a sticky kit for it to replace what's there. And the other reflector came with it. I'm not putting it on. The reflectors are coming off, the stand's coming off. I'm going to have it how I had it. The only disappointing thing about the whole lot is I can't ride it at the moment because of my knee surgery. I can't bend my leg far enough to ride a BMX. So she'll just have to sit around till I'm strong again. So since creating that video, I actually found the bike. Not my bike, I wish it was. It's hard to tell. There's a couple of marks on it on the photos that I've got of it. They're similar, but it's not my bike. Um, it's the same bike though. Let's have a look at it. So scrolling through Gumtree, I think I found this one. Um, I found a frame and forks and I hit the guy up. We done a deal and uh, it arrived. And so what I did with that black bike, instead of repainting that thing, which I was really hesitant to do because it's such a clean bike, I stripped all the bits off it and built my bike. So there it is. Let me show what I did to the black bike in the meantime. Just quickly, black tufts, blacked it out. It's cool. It's not what I had. It's the same as what I had. I like the black tufts. I really wanted to have what I had and the memories and the feelings and all the stuff that happened when I put this thing together, even when I opened the package when it arrived, which I didn't film at the time. It's just mind blowing and it's been sitting up probably, I don't know how long I had it for, maybe a year. Um, it's been sitting up in my living room, hangs on the wall. Um, but today, something that I didn't do when we did this video is ride that thing. And quickly before I do that, I mentioned the um, rally burner. I actually found a frame. Um, it was powder coated white. It was just a frame had and forks. Um, painted the forks, got the sticker kit for it, white tufts. The tyres that were on the black bike originally, those rally tyres, they're on this thing now. So she's all to spec. This is a genuine British team rally burner. It's really, really cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's probably the prettiest bike I own. But probably between this one and my um, Mongoose Moto Mag. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to show you that. You've been a good boy and chucked my Karen deflector on. So it's not the easiest thing riding with a handy cam on a BMX. I need to get myself another GoPro or something like that. But at the moment, this is where we're at. It'd be cool if there was a BMX track around here, there isn't. So I'm just going to fang about. Like I'm 14 again. It's just like I'm 14 again. And not just because I'm riding a BMX, it's because I'm riding the bike I had. It's just exactly the same. I don't know if you've experienced that, but something that just brings back so many memories. Because this, this was my steed for so long. I was a teenager. I was out and about, trying to be cool like all the rest of the kids. And um, you were proud of your bike. It's just so cool. Everything's the same. Grips, handlebars. When I bought the tyres, so the tyres are the the gum wall comp threes in black that's what we're on it when i got it new let's um find somewhere to put this camera down and have a bit of a spin